Guide to Newbie iOS Interface of Colorful 700 Series Motherboards Colorful has consistently been attentive to user feedback concerning their motherboards. 1. Clarity regarding the location of BIOS functionalities on the motherboard. 2. Guidance on navigating the BIOS software. And so on. Through continuous research, Colorful has enriched and refined the BIOS of the 700 series motherboards, providing users with an easy-to-use interface and a wider range of functions. Go aboard, let me show you step by step. Upon booting the computer, users can access the BIOS homepage by repeatedly pressing the delete on the keyboard. Here, users can conveniently toggle various commonly used functions. Notably, the one key memory overclocking, XMP, feature, is positioned at the bottom left corner of the interface. Control can be achieved through either the keyboard arrow keys or mouse options. Clicking on the overclock tab at the top grants access to the overclocking feature page where frequently utilized CPU overclocking options are found. For users employing the Z-Series motherboard, this section serves as the platform to configure CPU-related frequencies. Selecting the overclocking feature allows for transforming the default disabled state to enabled. After that, adjustments can be made for overclocking across all cores or specifically for multiple cores. Moreover, users can intricately tailor frequencies for both P cores and E cores. It's essential to keep in mind the necessity of making prudent adjustments within the voltage settings. Continuing ahead, we arrive at the memory setting. Here, you can activate the XMP functionality and have the flexibility to fine-tune memory profile to align with your specific requirements manually. Moving to the voltage setting just below, you are granted the capability to adjust CPU voltages. By default, the adaptive mode is selected, though changing to the override mode is also possible. In general, do not exceed the 1.5 volt threshold. As we descend further, the SA voltage configurations come into view. Similar to previous options, you can configure these settings in adaptive or override mode. Note that 12th and 13th Gen non-K series Intel CPUs possess predefined limits for SA voltage adjustments, disallowing values beyond a certain level. At the bottom section, you find the voltage settings relevant to memory voltage. This section will automatically fill in the appropriate voltage settings. When the XMP is enabled, it's a good idea to carefully increase both SA and memory voltages. If system stability is a problem, returning to the top advanced menu on the homepage, you can access to CPU configuration. This area provides the change to configure many aspects, such as core toggles, C states, virtualization technology, AVX and other advanced functionalities, under the SATA section, users can access to RAID configuration, VMD, empowers the control of RAID modes, while USB configurations find their place in the USB section. Additionally, the default state for TPM, Trusted Platform Module, 2.0 settings, is enabled. Meanwhile, the CSM configuration also find a home within this subpage. Secure boot and other functions are enabled as part of adaptive setup. Next, attention turns to the motherboard's chipset. The ME configuration allow users to configure whether or not to enable ME firmware flashing. The SA configuration allow you to enable onboard graphics. This section also allows you to make common adjustments, such as prioritizing integrated or discrete graphics and manipulating PCIe speed. Follow me to advanced power setting. This allows the user to decide whether the USB interfaces remain powered during shutdown. And also features such as keyboard and network card wake up within the device setting, exists for configuring settings related to network stacked. At the top of the homepage BIOS setting, you can upgrade the BIOS firmware prepared in advance, on the right side, next to BIOS setting, you will find the language, English, simplified Chinese and Korean are supported. Once the BIOS has been configured to the desired specifications, the F10 key can be used to save the changes directly and then reboot the system. Or, come to the exit, selecting Save Changes and Reset. In addition, users can discard Change and Exit or to continue using the default settings. These guidelines are designed to make BIOS operation easier for gamers. Colorful is committed to listening to user feedback to continually improve both motherboard hardware and BIOS software.